Hi guys, uh, I use these uh, two new flexible panels now for over two months and I put together this uh, short uh, review. But uh, before I continue, um, my sponsor Link Solar has supplied me with these panels uh, and I couldn't have done this review without their help. But I want to make clear that uh, these are my opinions. Uh, I know that many of you appreciate my outlook on things and I want to keep it that way. Um, if I see something that I dislike, I'll, I'll tell you. I already made uh, an extension cable um, and ways to connect it to the electrical system inside the van uh, in the previous video. And if you still want to have a look at that, you can click out here in this corner, I think. This is a day four tech panel from Link Solar um, and is mainly used uh, for stealth or for curved roofs. And you can use it, of course, as a portable panel too. What sets this uh, day four tech solar, flexible solar panel apart from the other flexible panels is they have a mesh of uh, silver lines that connect the in, uh, internal cells. Uh, and that mesh is on both sides, even though you can't see it at the bottom because it's sandwiched in between. Um, what it means is that, uh, especially the older generation of flexible panels, uh, they break down quite fast because of the bending of the panels. Uh, where these connections between the cells break. Uh, that still happens in these cells, however, because there's so many individual connections on both sides, even though some of them break, they still keep working. For me, it all comes down to having enough solar power to make uh, life comfortable in the van. Uh, and I started doing that by having um, uh, the optimal solar panels on, on the roof of the van. And I have now about 405 watts on the roof for about half a year now. So got some experience with them, very similar to these. Um, and I'm very satisfied with them. But I always had in mind uh, that just in case those wouldn't be sufficient. And there are periods uh, during the year that, that might be a problem. Um, uh, in winter or certainly uh, when there's uh, rain uh, for longer periods of time. Um, that I had some ways of getting some more energy um, and that is um, by getting some portable panels that I can lay, that, lay out around the van or put it on the windshield uh, to get some more power. It's too early to say but I don't think that uh, the regular flexible panels uh, are really uh, made for portable use. Uh, you tend them tend to bend them uh, quite often and they're not really made for that and, and these connections inside the cells will fail. They're really easy to set up, they're light uh, and you can store them quite easily, uh, especially under the mattress. So a good alternative uh, would be those, those day four panels uh, because even though you bend them um, uh, and these connections may, may suffer, they should still be working uh, uh, after a prolonged time of use. Another recent development, uh, which I put my hand on, uh, are these uh, solar blankets. Um, this is a 120 watt uh, panel, uh, very similar to uh, the flexible panel. Uh, it's a little bit bigger in size, uh, but you can fold it up uh, into about uh, a one square foot package. It is quite a bit heavier than, uh, probably three times as heavy as a flexible panel still much lighter than, than a fixed panel, uh, but uh, the fact that you can fold it up so small, uh, it's easy to store and easy to carry. And it's very sturdy, uh, but I'll, I'll show you that in a, in a little while. I tested uh, both of them uh, during the last couple of months, uh, both on uh, the ground as well as on the windshield. Um, and the output was a little bit different uh, during, the, during the day, uh, but never more than a fraction of an amp, so it was really not important. Um, the uh, solar blanket uh, did a little bit better during the early hours of the day as well as uh, late in the day, but overall very similar. Uh, they do, did both well during, uh, during cloudy weather. The main feature of both of these panels is this uh, ETFV laminate um, that's used instead of the PET, which is used on uh, the cheaper uh, flexible panels. Um, my roof panels are made of the same material and I haven't really seen any de deterioration over the last half year. Half a year. Um, uh, and they're scratch uh, resistant and anti-reflective. Uh, so they absorb more sunlight as well. 
Both panels are similarly uh, rated. The day four uh, is 118 watts uh, with a slightly lower voltage rating of 18 volt and a little bit higher uh, amperage of six and a half amps. Uh, the solar blanket is 120 watts, 19.8 uh, uh, volts and six amps. Uh, but that's uh, very similar. While the day four comes with the uh, regular uh, MC4 connectors, the solar blanket comes with an awkward uh, sort of aviation plug, uh, a round aviation plug. Uh, I would cut that off and uh, put some uh, different uh, connectors on, uh, preferably the smaller uh, Anderson connectors that I've used. And uh, while using the panels, um, I realized that it's uh, way easier to uh, lean this flexible panel uh, against, uh, for instance, against the van, if you want to set it up that way, uh, because that's uh, completely impossible with that uh, solar blanket. You really have to put that either on the ground or, for instance, on the windshield. While I like to go through all the numbers, uh, in this case, it's not really important. They're very similar. Uh, they do a very good job in producing some supplemental power. Uh, they're both high quality panels and they do very well, especially uh, when you're parked in the shade. Uh, and you can put them uh, out there in the sun. I promise to tell you which one is uh, my favorite. Well, that's the solar blanket, of course. They're much uh, tougher um, and, and more rugged uh, than, uh, than the others. Uh, and certainly way better suited for the type of use that I'll be using it for. Uh, they come in panels up to about 200 watts, uh, but um, they are expensive. Uh, and I'll put some uh, prices uh, down in, uh, in the description of this video. But I certainly can recommend one. Thanks, see you next week. Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one of a kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. Done a good job.